<clears throat> when you're ready. Uh, so I'm probably going to talk. Uh, my daughter is helping me do this unboxing. Um, it's my birthday this weekend and I decided to treat myself to my favourite things, which of course are from Glitmix. So first thing out of the box, I've got a cute little freebie here uh, from Chloe and Pete. How gorgeous is that? That's called Purple Paradise. Uh, so what have we got? Oh yeah, I bought two uh, bottles of Completely Armoured, which is uh, my preferred monomer because it's hema free. Uh, it's better for me, better for my clients. It does need a primer, so you do have to prime. Very, very excited about this little box. So in here we have all the marbling inks. Oh my goodness. These are going to be fantastic. I have been absolutely desperate to try these for ages. Wow. I know. Gorgeous, right? Yes. Yeah. So hang on, that's pink, that's grey. What else do we get in here? Get a yellow. Stunning. Oh, this is the clear one. This is the dispersing ink. So when you've sort of layered up your marbles, you drop a little bit of this on and it kind of makes it flood, flood out a bit. Like a blooming effect. Green. So vibrant. I think I'm going to have an awful lot of fun with these. Light blue. Uh, one of my daughters is obsessed with marble nails. So She's going to love it. She is going to absolutely love it. And here's a, probably some more. Oh, yeah. Oh. Moody. It is, isn't it? Like that. I can't wait to get these on and some nails. Oh, we've got a lighter pink as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. It says light, but it looks it looks quite bright. Brown. This would be great for doing kind of those like aged effects. Red. Nice blood red. And these are super easy to use. You literally just do them. I do them over a uh, uh, base coat, wipe off the uh, tacky layer. Ooh, orange. And, uh, and then go in with those. You need to wait. You need to give them all oh, purple. Oh, that's gosh. I want that one. Yeah. <laughs> you need to give them um, a good amount of time to like uh, set before you top coat afterwards, when I say a good amount of time, they are alcohol based, so they don't actually take that long to dry. If you were doing it on a client, by the time you'd moved on to them and done the other nails, the first one would be plenty dry enough. So that's my uh, my gorgeous marbling inks. Then, got a whole host of goodies in here. Uh, I did trial some of the uh, cuticle oils for Chloe and Pete, um, but I didn't get all the flavours, so, flavours, scents. So I decided that I would get them all uh, for my birthday. So we've got Pina Colada, Rhubarb and Rose, that is one of the ones that I did trial and it is amazing. That one was really it's just gorgeous. Raspberry. Cherry Bakewell. Black Coconut. Mango and Papaya. Mm. And Pina Colada. So, I think these would be a really great um, retail opportunity. I think clients quite like to, to get a little bit of uh, something away with them so you guys could uh yeah stack them up for your clients to to buy and take away and then i bought two of the 
holographic chrome pens. So I've got the uh, the gold one and the hollow silver one. Never used these before, never used, never used them before. And then this is a big treat. I've got two new acrylic brushes. Now, when you get your acrylic brush, it's got a dressing on it. And you do have to gently, with some gloves on, so you don't get natural oils from your hands, into, can you, I don't know if the camera might not be picking up that little cloud of dust that is coming out. That's the dressing. That all needs to be thoroughly and completely removed before you start to use your brush. Um, otherwise, your brush is going to get clogged. So spend a little bit of time doing that. Get right into the belly of the brush and get all the dressing off. And then when you have done that, then you submerse it in clean monomer straight away. So I got the size 12 and the size 14. So this is the 12. And again, you've got to flick that dressing off. I will spend a little bit more time. Don't worry, it starts to look really fluffy and you start to think, oh my goodness, like that's how am I ever going to do anything with that? But this is what you have to do. I'm sure you probably all already know that. So then, I'll just move those out of the way because I want to finish preparing those uh, later on. Um, I've got a whole heap of goodies here. Whole heap of goodies. So excited. So excited for this. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So oh. um in my first little uh, little pack, I got some, uh, of, oh my days, these are so much cuter in real life than they were on the website. I got myself a little pack of dotting tools, like, and they're all filled with like little tiny beads. It looks so cute, they look like sweeties. Then I got some extra tips for my mixy hand. Love my mixie. Uh, loads of you know that I'm not actually taking clients at the moment because my son's got leukemia. So mixie is my best mate right now. So then I got some of the holographic, the new holographic hearts. Like I, re I really like these because they're all different sizes. So, you know, get a lot more use out of them than if they're all just one size. And obviously I am the queen of neon, so... I had to have the neon ones as well. Absolutely lush. And then because everybody seems to like butterflies, personally, butterflies are not my thing. But, you know, even though I'm not taking clients, I still wanted some of these. <laughs> <laughs> then I needed to buy some more of the uh, flexible striping tape. I got, I think I got black, gold and rose gold. This is the best striping tape I have ever used. I've been doing nails on and off for 15 years now, just over. And it is insane. It is so easy to use. It doesn't come off. It's really easy to encapsulate if you wanted to, but obviously you don't have to. It's fantastic stuff. Super easy to use, right. <gasps> Oh my days, guys, check these out. Look what I have in here. So, I have bought the full selection of gel paints. Um, I'm not a massive artist. With my uh, with with my nail art, I'm not I'm not don't do character drawing or anything like that, but good quality uh, gel paints are an absolute must for everyone. So I got those, and then I got oh my days, I've forgotten what I'd ordered. 
I have got the Get Me Sugared collection and these are all super fine glitters that are absolutely perfect for sugaring. Uh, oh, look at this, look. Guys, I'm just gonna open one for you. Look how rammed the pots are. Like, you're certainly getting your money's worth here. Look at that beauty. Come to mama. That one's called Peaches. That is just, I mean, they're all going to be absolutely stunning. I will do some swatches. Uh, I need to see. Oh, oh, I need to see another one. I need to see this one. I need to get this one. Candy Crush. And again, look just how full they are. So, so reasonable. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to use these. I absolutely love a sugared nail. I think it adds so much to a set. It is just, yeah, one of my favourite things to do. And also, I mean, for you guys that are working in salons at the minute, it's a really, really easy way to add a little extra dimension to your set. It doesn't take any time at all. So then I also bought the Shattered Shards collection. I'm a huge fan of Mylar. Um, I'm not a huge fan of cutting it up. Um, so this is perfect for me because it's Chloe and Pete have done all the work for us. Oh. Lemon. Wow. I like lemon. Oh, my little helper across the table is just pointing to this one that she wants to see. This one's called Amethyst. Oh, dear me. That is ridic. Oh, I'm in heaven. And I want to open this one as well because, oh, look. You can, you can see it through the bottom, but yeah, guys. These are going to like last you forever. Like you'll never have to order these again. Like the pots are so full. All right, 50 years worth in there. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. Fantastic. And my last little packet here. Couldn't resist these beauties. So... I um, already have the dainty shards, um, a lot of the dainty shards. I didn't have the two new ones, um, which is charcoal and slate. These are fab for gel polish as well as uh, acrylic. They're going to be so, so popular for autumn. And slate is just, oh, that is insane insane love that i also bought a larger part of uh, heather in bloom which is one of the original glitters that chloe and p ever mixed but it's one of my favorites and it is in the super sale at the moment so it won't be around for very much longer but it is incredible I'm just gonna get a little tool and see if i can show you guys just pinks, greens, everything, golds. It's just so feminine and pretty. Just, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Love, love Heather in Bloom. So then I also got, uh, yeah, this is me um, getting, I have these in the other colours, but I thought I'd get the little hollow five point stars. Four point stars? Four point stars. Can't count. Then again, I've got most of the chrome powders, um, but I didn't have the titanium. So, who doesn't need a dark, steely chrome? You all need one. I'm telling you, all need one. Then I also treated myself to Glow Up, which is one of our new loose glitters. And this is just, I don't, 
I don't even know how to describe this. It's just so pretty. Look how full those pots are. Just, yeah, such great value for money. And then Sugar Rush, which is again, another one of our new, uh, our new loose glitters. And that again, it's got all kinds of like violets and oranges, and I can't wait to see that on a nail. I'm hoping the camera's picking it up. Um, but again, rammed, absolutely rammed full. Don't open those upside down, guys. Then I've also bought the new Creative Colour uh, Glitter Acrylics. These are brand new and I can't wait to use them. And I also got a pot of Clarity, which is our clear. Um, it's got such superb adhesion and it is it is as clear as clear as day it is fantastic so we have rest in purple oh 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 i'm gonna love that i mean chloe has already swatched these already on the uh on the group and i will do some swatches myself all an illusion oh look at that smoky gold That's a beauty. Never seen anything like that before. And I, and I kid you not, I have some colours in my drawer. Like, a lot. And we've got gold mine, which is... Oh, that's the, like the perfect gold. Warm but not brassy. Little, little bit of a pinky tone to it. Glamorous. That's going to be amazing. Oh, Kalila is uh, over the other side of the desk from me. Absolutely cannot wait to get this on her hands. It's really nicely milled, like the, the powders. Aqua Breeze. I mean, guys, you all know when you put the monomer on that they just get more and more vivid when you mix them with the monomer. That is like stunning straight out the pot. Flipping Nora. Rustic stone. Oh, that's beautiful. Lovely, warm, muted grey. Really nice. Last but not least, the one that made me buy the whole collection when I saw the swatch. Lavender Crush. Look at that beauty. It's full of um, beautiful tiny pieces of glitter, like flakes. Oh, I love it. So, yeah, that, that, that's my uh, glitter mix haul for this month. <laughs> I'll be back with some more next month and I'll be back with some swatches too, guys. Hope you're keeping well. Ta-ta for now.